Over a thousand top tech companies have been unveiling their latest gadgets in Berlin this week. IFA is one of the world's oldest consumer tech and appliance trade shows. In fact, this is where the cathode ray tube, the first version of the television, was launched. And this year's event is showcasing brands from more than 100 countries. CCTV's Guy Henderson went to take a look. Over 240,000 people are attracted to this global trade fair every year. Berlin's IFA is the last major consumer electronics fair of the year, and it's predictably packed again. Basically, we are, we are oversold here at IFA. We are expecting much more trade visitors in compared to last year, and that seems to be a good story to being even more successful than last year. And it's, that's for sure, we had 4.3 billion US dollars sold product uh, ordered last year and that's that's a good story. The future is always on offer here with big brand launches and then there's the newcomers. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. The Bean Pro, a shop assistant who's actually in Delhi, a tour guide speaking your language, whatever it is. And she has a computer and she's driving around. So basically for remote uh, teams, when you have like multiple sites of your company, you can work together. We use it in museums, in schools. Home entertainment is traditionally a top seller. This was, after all, a showcase for radios 70 years ago. Times have moved on. This is the latest fourth generation flat screen television from Chinese company Skyworth. It's just bought out German tech firm Metz with an eye on what is still a key market. It's a super, super sleep and it can be banned or curved. Uh, and also it's 4K UHD. So, with this kind of technology, we really think we will have good sales in Europe market. That's why we're here. And 2015 has an unofficial theme. While the hallways here might be packed with large and often impressive displays of cutting edge technology, it does tend to be the smaller products that steal the limelight these days. So. In previous years, it might have been smartphones. In 2015, though, the buzzword is wearables because big brand names such as Huawei, Sony, Samsung are all launching new products here to try and take on Apple ahead of the Christmas sales rush. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Berlin.